Welcome to Some Star Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna play a game called Seconds in Space, which is a real-time strategy game in space. Yes, another one. We seem to get a lot of those lately. So let's begin. Now this game is coming in early access, so big thank you to the developer for allowing me to play it. Now let's start a brand new game. So your goal over here is to get to one of these possible exit points. You don't know which one it will, we'll find out as we move through the nodes. Every time you step into a node, you go into a combat and then something will happen. We have two main resources in the game, lives and coins. If lives get to zero, it's game over and you lose lives when in combat you lose a ship. Uh, coins you can gain on the map and then you can, when you go into a shop, you can buy lives instead. Or you can buy something called reveal. This is also something that can just happen on some node, which will show you which one of these exit points is the one that you have to get to. There's also something called swap, which allows you to swap the exit point from one of the possible exits to another. At the moment, we can either go here, which will allow us to gain coins, or here, which will cause us to lose coins. So we're going to go over here and gain coins. Now, before we start, I'm going to talk a little bit about this. So the way this works is that you have, you have to destroy all of these turrets and you have our little ships over here. And these turrets have special abilities. So the one on top, these four, they're marked with this sort of like a turret symbol. And uh, that means that once they get destroyed, some sort of special ability of theirs will get activated. Now, that's marked by this number one. If this was two, then their ability would get activated twice. Once when they get half held and second times when they get destroyed. These on the bottom are activated by a timer. This number here tells you in which order the abilities will be activated. So this one is going to have their ability activated first and then so on it goes. So first thing we're going to grab our first group of ships, move them over here and then focus on shooting this. Then we're going to grab our second group of ships, move them over here and focus to attack our second group of ships. The turrets always attack the ship that is the closest. So it's often a good idea to move once the ships get sort of out of health. You want to move them sort of away. So the enemies start hitting the other ships and then you can sort of send them back. You want to focus all of these on ship number two. So I didn't mean to do that. Need you to go down and you to go up. And you can see that some of the sort of special purple abilities got activated, but it's okay. All right, so we seem to continue shooting over here. We want to move down here and start shooting at that. I'm going to move this ship a little bit away. And this one to the side and a bit closer. Now this one currently has a shield, so we don't really want to waste our attacks on it. Okay, we can attack now again. Let me just move it like that. You go attack there. We're going to move this way. And we're doing a pretty good job. We didn't lose that many ships, we only lost one, which is kind of fine. Right, we're going to keep shooting at it, that's pretty good. Should be able to, okay, we destroyed it, very, very nice. And this allows us to gain coins, so we now have one coin. Now at this point we can choose, for, well, we, we, have to, we actually have to go at this random, so we're going to go straight there, but later on we're going to be able to choose. So again, on the bottoms, their abilities is activated by a timer and on the top, it's activated once when they get, get destroyed. And you can see my lives up there. I have 12 lives. We're going to attack over here. We're going to move this downwards this way and attack this turret as well. You do want to make sure that you try to avoid when the turrets activate the special abilities, but I tend to kind of forget about that quite often. So we'll see how that goes. I want to move this one away. Yeah, this, this ship moved to the side. Good. So we actually managed to avoid all of these, which is quite nice. You move closer, so do you. Yeah, we want to we wanna make sure. Yeah, we're avoiding all the red things, which is really good. We'll keep moving this around. This as well. Move to the side a bit. Oh, wow. That one just got hit pretty hard with the purple, purple bullets, but that's okay. Yeah, move to the side. Nice. Go back and attack this. You two can move a bit lower and you as well. Should be able to do some nice damage, I think. All right, this is about to be destroyed, which is nice. This one, unfortunately, have, it has a shield, so that's not the greatest. Uh, actually, I'm going to try to just move this one a bit further away so the other turrets will attack the other ones. You need to move them kind of out of the big range, the circle range, which shows where the turrets can shoot and then 
They're going to attack other people. So actually the reward of this thing was that we're going to lose lives anyway. That was not great. So over here we could go to a shop where we could buy lives. Or down here we could go to a reveal. So we're going to do that first. Because we need to see to which exit we're supposed to move to. So let me grab my set of ships and attack this. My other set of ships and attack this. And off we go. And this one has a shield, we don't really care about that right now. I'm gonna move this out of the range so that they're gonna attack another one. Uh, this one as well. Oh, uh, you two need to get out. Get out, get out, get out. Okay, go back in. You need to go back in as well. Try to move around a little bit. Oh no, this one, this one got hit quite hard. It's alright now. Now let's move it inwards. All of these should attack that. You two move around a bit. So this one should probably go backwards. You move to the side even more. Now you two can go down, attack this. You two move around and you as well. Oh, this one needs to go back because this one has very low health. Good. That's kind of okay. Yeah, we did it. Nice. This one went pretty well. Pretty happy with that. Alright, we've got a reveal, so now we know that the proper exit is this one on top, so we gotta get there. We're gonna have another random here, so let's do it. Alright, same as always. Grab your ships, move them in, and attack this one. Second set of ships, move them down here, and attack this one. And off we go. Actually gonna move this kind of out of range, to kind of try to spread the damage between other ships okay good now we can keep attacking all right uh you need to move out to the side you as well good most of our ships managed to avoid any additional damage but we gotta keep shooting we kind of stop shooting a little bit here which is not ideal you go that way you move to the side you move up good all these three handled it perfectly just keep shooting keep shooting all right you need to move out of the way oh it was kind of out of the way the other way, so that was not ideal. You move away. You move closer, like you can take a, sh take a hit as opposed to these other two. Nice. Seem to lose one ship for combat, which I think is fine. Ooh, it gave me a swap, so now I have to go on the bottom. It's just kind of unfortunate. Alright, well in that case... We gotta go down, because this is empty. Yeah, let's go this way. Uh, we'll move upwards, we'll attack this one. Move downwards and attack this one. Off we go. Let's begin. But right, I'm gonna move this one a bit out of the way, this one as well. Right, we got our first destruction, so let's move that. You move out of the way, you move up, you as well. Seems like mostly we managed to avoid those. You need to get out. Oh, you two need to move. That did not help much there, but that's okay. You two need to move out of the way, you as well. Kind of avoided that, that was okay. You need to move upwards. We should be okay here. I don't think we're gonna have too many problems destroying this. Yeah, especially since these bottom ones, they do not shoot these purple bullets. They just have a shield, so... We could move out away while they have a shield, but I think it's just better to just leave everything there. And as soon as they're out of shield, we can just do some really nice damage. I might actually move this one away just to make sure it doesn't get hit, but it wasn't even necessary. Got some points. Now the exit's over here, so let's move towards the exit. Grab our first set of ships. Move them up here. So now we're gonna head- yeah, we're gonna head to the bottom one. We'll do what the game wants us to do. Now these ones get the shield as always. Now, this one- this is gonna get destroyed, so we wanna kinda, kinda make sure that we move out of the way. No, 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 you'll move away. Yeah, that was good. That was avoided. No, no, no. Okay, this one is not. <laughs> I did not want to move it that way, but it's okay. 
Okay, this one that gets destroyed. You two move to the left. You move up. That did not help. Never mind. You move this way. You move down. Now this one's about to get destroyed. You two need to move down as well. Only one of them really moved. Like, I tell you both to move. I don't want to move. I just want to rest. I have to shoot this turret while we're at home just yelling at me from the radio. This is really hard. Well, I was trying to save your life, man. Well, I don't care. <laughs> oh. Alright, we have one. And yeah, I think this is a good time to end the episode. It's kind of like to show off how the game works. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. And you can click on the right to watch some other real-time strategy games in space, like Space Legacies or Hexagon. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.